Welcome to the catch-up. I'm Taylor, and I'll be your guide. Language barriers can be really tough in a relationship, especially a new one. And Juan Pablo really showed us that in season 18 of The Bachelor. I just feel like I'm never gonna get a one-on-one -on -one with Juan Pablo. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Juan Pablo Galvez is kind of a clown. And I say that only because we're all rejected by the censors. First off, he's a retired soccer player. Ole! And he currently lives with his parents in Miami. Ole, ole! Okay, he also has a daughter named Camilla, who from here on out, we might as well just refer to as leverage. I mean, if we're being honest with ourselves. Now, JP, you really need to be aware of the fact that you're gonna spend most of the rest of your life apologizing to the American public. Or until we stop caring, which will be soon, but I don't want you to know that. So yeah, the rest of your life. You're gonna spend the rest of your life. Seriously, citizens of this country are hawking spit and rolling up newspapers and we're ready to attack. Here's what I know about this guy and the way that he treats women. Number one, he didn't want to kiss Renee because he wanted to set a good example for Camilla, for Leverage, I'm sorry, for his daughter Leverage. Now, he kicked Cassandra off the show on her birthday, so... Feliz cumpleaños, Cassandra. Now, rounding out the season, he slut-shamed Claire after he slept with her in Vietnam you try to go to Vietnam and not sleep with whoever you're with. It's a really sexy place. Then, he told Claire in the season finale, during a not so private moment, I barely know you, but I loved fucking you. Um, what? Now, he made his final decision. Like, at least the show ended. <laughs> he made his final decision, and it was Nikki. Nikki got a rose, but she didn't get a ring even though apparently he had one on his person. I'm not sure why he brought the ring if it wasn't for her. Personally, I kind of wish that if he wasn't going to give it to her, he might, I don't know, um, jingle it in front of her with like some other jewelry or keys or like keychains or some sort of souvenir. Or just kind of just like danced around with it or tried to hypnotize her with it on a string. I don't know. I'm just like very old fashioned and romantic. And he thought if anyone was going to come through with something like that, it was going to be JP. And he didn't. He really didn't. <sighs> Man, you know, kudos to you, ABC. Like this is the first time in seriously like four months that I've rage spilled my $6 wine on my own bedroom wall. <sighs> anyway, that's it for today. I'm Taylor Ortega, like the tacos, and this is Cosmo Ketchup.